to my friends and colleagues at Tridel, happy Pride. I'm so glad that we live in a country called Canada where Pride Month is celebrated all across the country. Unlike other countries, Canada has been a leader when it comes to equity and equality uh, and diversity. Canada is actually the third country in the world that has recognized same-sex marriage and was the first to do so back in 2001. We have so much to celebrate, yet we have so much more to do. And I'm very pleased to offer this video message to all of you, profiling some of our leaders in Toronto and some influencers and big champions of our LGBTQ2 community. No, I speak for everyone when I say that we can't wait until we can all celebrate in person again in March in that parade and do all the other things that go with it. With the hope brought by the vaccine, I think that that day is on the horizon. But meantime, 2021 is a particularly significant year as Toronto's 2S LGBTQ plus communities mark a number of important milestones. This year marks the 40th anniversary of Pride in Toronto. Unbelievable. Officially founded in 1981, it began as a grassroots collection of organizers and activists and advocates from Toronto's queer community in response to the bathhouse raids. It has grown into the largest celebration of Pride anywhere in North America and one of Toronto's biggest annual cultural events. While at the same time, it has maintained some of its advocacy and protest roots. And for those who don't know, 30 years ago, in 1991, the city issued its first proclamation for the Pride Parade. So while we reflect on this history and the valued contributions of 2S LGBTQ plus individuals in our city, we're also reminded of the work that we have left to do in making Toronto truly a city for all. And that is why I remain committed, as do my council colleagues, to building a city where everyone can feel safe and respected and supported and included. I know we have a long way to go, but your city government, your city council, and your mayor are your allies, and you can count on us to stand up and to speak up and to act. As we look back on these landmark anniversaries for Pride in Toronto in 2021, I look forward to witnessing history being made with all of these milestones as we do indeed go forward. I am proud to live in a city, I hope you are, a city with foundational values like ours. They're tested from time to time, more often than we might like, but we are strong and we are committed to those values. So have a happy Pride Month and allow it to bring you some hope of better days ahead. Hi friends, this is Kristen Wong Tam, Toronto City Councillor. I'm also a proud member of the 2S LGBT plus community. I'm really happy to be here with you today. Although I'm sending you this message virtually, I wish we could be together. June has always represented a very special time of year for me. As an out, queer, non-binary person, I know it is actually the month of celebration for our community. We rise together, we come together, we take over the streets, we party, we protest, we express our political voice, and we do so with a big smile or even a fist raised in the air, but we do so in the name of love and community. That hasn't changed over the years, and I don't think it ever will, and I certainly don't hope so. I also know that Pride is also a very special and difficult time of year for LGBT youth, for people who are still living in the closet, and for those who are unsafe during the pandemic. Sometimes things have changed, and the pandemic has forced some individuals back into the closet, living with family that may not fully accept them or understand them. I hope that you are here with us today and if you're hearing this message, please know that I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about your resilience. I want you to know that you are loved and cared for. Now, let me just send a message about hope and solidarity. I know that the past 16 months has been incredibly difficult. I can't even begin to imagine how it's been like for you if you are an essential worker, taking care of Toronto, stocking the grocery shelves, making sure that the kids are at school, making sure that the daycares are staffed, taking care of our elderly and the vulnerable in long-term care facilities. To those who are working in the front lines, you are our heroes. And we will get past this pandemic because of you. We also know that the pandemic challenges have been felt disproportionately by different communities, including those in the LGBT plus community. We have been disproportionately hit 
and we are feeling the strain on our communities and chosen family. People have lost wages, they've lost their jobs, and some of us have lost people we deeply care for. And I know that bereavement has changed the way we even come together to grieve, which is why I think it's so important, critically important, that we take a moment to remember those we've lost, but also to fight like hell for those who are still with us. Recognizing that LGBTQ2S equality is not something that is delivered to us on a silver platter. We must demand it. We must fight homophobia, transphobia, all forms of oppression. We must link arms and recognize that when we talk about Black Lives Matter, we are also talking about indigenous rights. We're also talking about women's rights. We're talking about everyone who has ever felt outside the system. This is who we are as a city. And I'm very proud that each and every single one of you are taking some time to reflect what that means in June. Thank you very much to those who are celebrating with us. There is a virtual pride parade coming online June the 27th. Please take a look at the Pride Toronto Guide. There are many, many activities still happening. Although we can't meet in person, we can still do so virtually. And when it's time for us to come together once again as a community, as a city, I know that we're gonna to take to the streets in the largest numbers we possibly can. We are going to probably give each other the world's biggest hug. And I can't wait to do that with you. Please be safe, happy pride, all the very best to you and your families, given and chosen. To me, Pride Month means a time to truly express who you are and who you love. There's often a misconception with Pride Month. Many see Pride as just a celebration for the 2S LGBTQ plus community. And it is a celebration, but it's so much more than that. We take the time to recognize that you should never be judged for your sexual orientation, gender identity, or who you love. And while many people in the 2S LGBTQ plus community feel accepted, we still have a lot more work to do to combat homophobia and transphobia. I celebrate Pride because everyone should be accepted for who they are. I want to wish all Ontarians a happy Pride and to never be afraid to show your true colours. Hello, my name is Reverend Jeff Rock and I'm the Senior Pastor of the Metropolitan Community Church of Toronto, a vibrant, inclusive and progressive faith community and human rights church in the city's East End. To me, Pride is both a party and a protest. It is a celebration of how far we've come in the last 52 years since the Stonewall Inn riots in New York City, but it's also a protest of the continued injustices in our world, recognizing that 70 countries in the world still criminalize same gender loving relationships, and 11 of them have the death penalty. Pride is also intersectional. From its very roots in the Stonewall riots, it was trans women of color and effeminate gay men and masculine butch lesbians and street-involved sex workers that came together and fought back. And here in Toronto in 1981 during the bathhouse raids, it was the black community and the LGBTQ2 plus community that came together to fight police brutality. That's why Pride has to be uh, ability and disability inclusive, it needs to be anti-racist, it needs to fight misogyny, sexism, and all gender discrimination. Uh, it needs to address reconciliation with Indigenous peoples and continue to build solidarity. Because none of us are truly free until all of us are free.